Hello and welcome to another RGM unboxing video. Um, this is just another one of those quick unboxings of some more stuff that I bought recently and just to make sure that it's all okay. Um, obviously in the future I will do more in-depth videos on them. So let's get started with this big one. Uh, quite excited about this actually. Let's try where we're going to get into it. Uh, in here we have a cub microvex monitor I've not seen one of these since about 1989 which was a school it was in my English class certainly a big box hope it's okay. Oh dear, I can see some damage at the back there. Looks like it's uh, taken a fall in transit. Cabinet's warped. The cabinet is all warped, the foot missing as well. Oh dear, not patched that very well. That's a bit worse on the other side as well. Uh, what a shame. I did say to the guy, make sure you pack it well. I mean, it's made out of sheet metal, so. I mean, what has actually been sold to me is untested. Well, not working, that was it. Powered up, he said. Light came on, power light came on. Um, but nothing on the screen. That's in the right state. There. Tube appears to be okay on the front there. So it's a model number 1431 MS, last pat test, 2000. So it was a new up to 2000 at least. Oh. That's your uh, input there, contrast, power button. Well, I won't be plugging that in until I've opened it up, just to make sure it's safe in there. Well, let's hope the others are in a bit better condition. Right. Uh, that's a little one next. some Christmas paper on that one. Oh, it's some five and a half inch floppy disks. It says education on there. Crystal Fortress, Vision Striker, Shift Break Run. So, what uses that command? Is that DOS? Or is it basic? Caveman Quest. I'm hoping these will be BBC Micro Discs. Disc Doctor, Dan's Boat Ranger. Obviously, uh, the stuff that says on here. It's probably long gone, it's probably not even on there anymore. I don't know if I can't remember if he wiped them or not before they sent them. It could be basic looking at some of the commands. Hmm, let's have a look at those. This is another floppy disk, I remember. This is for the Commodore Drive. Diagnostic disk, if I remember rightly. Perhaps 
pretty well. There we go. Yeah, Commodore 1541 demo disk drive. Demo disk, single sided. Five and a half inch. This is the, the Commodore Plus 4, if I'm right there. Yes, it's an adapter uh, for the Commodore Plus 4 that I bought for the CPU. It will change it from an 8501 CPU to a 6510. Um, as, as you probably know, the Commodore Plus 4 CPU is quite unreliable um, and it's quite hard to get hold of as well. 6510 is a lot more reliable. You do lose a function, actually. I think it's the auto tape stop. Um, I think that's it. I'll do a review on that there when, when I get a 6510 and uh, we'll test that out on that Commodore Plus 4 that I bought that, uh, that stopped working or didn't work at all actually. Yeah. To the next one. Some more discs. Oh, these are the blanks. These are, I think these are new old stock, yeah. Um, I think there's about eight there. New old stock, five and a half inch floppy discs with labels. It's always handy. Came quick. It's one of those Synology little network servers, um, hard disk server. I just love the design of this. Um, it's very retro looking to me. So USB on the front there, SATA. On the back there, got two USBs, LAN, DC 12 volts. I think if I remember rightly, it said it's a 250 gig hard drive in that. That's got to be the shortest uh, kettle heat I've ever seen. He did mention to me about that. She always got damage in the post anyway. Look, I'm not having much luck today, am I? And that'll be the power supply for it. Yeah, it's the right power supply at least. And now the last one in the big box. Big-ish. Last one of this episode. I'm right, this is a, yes it is a hard drive. Unusual external hard disk drive. Packed it really well. Oh, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be actually. Anything else in that? Well, oh, that is unusual. Preference Western Digital. Yeah, it's the connection that interested me because it looks like a floppy disk connector for a, an Amiga. It's heavy, so I guess the hard disk drive is in there at least. Very interesting. A, a little selector pot there. I guess that must be for the position of the drive on the chain if you have more than one. Certainly needs a good clean. I won't take that Apple logo off there, that sticker, I'll leave it on there because it's uh, quite retro looking. Very interesting. It's a hard disk, hard disk 40AP Western Digital, 40 megabytes, 110 to 240 volts, 65 watts. Very heavy, it's gotta be nearly two kilos, I'd say. See, the power supply is built into it as well, so, which is good. 
Well, there you have it then. That's uh, what I bought recently. Um, all computer themed again. Um, I'll just open the back of this monitor up in a bit and have a look inside and see just how bad the damage is. I'll do a separate video on that. Um, well, I hope you uh, liked watching. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll be seeing you.